Hi, good morning and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to do a review of a product that was sent to me by another company. Uh, this company you may remember a couple of weeks ago I did a, uh, a review of some of their, uh, their infrared um, thermometers, the non-contact thermometers. Um, you will remember, I'll show you real quickly, I'm not going to go into it because I, I will put a link to the description down below for these units right here, but this is the, uh, the non-contact uh, laser thermometers that I did a review on a couple of weeks back. Um, the, the same company contacted me and asked me if I wanted to look at another product that they were actually uh, selling. Um, they're actually selling these, of course, on Amazon like everything else. Um, I will put a link in the description down at the bottom. Basically what they are is it's, it's your standard everyday multimeter um, for checking continuity, checking resistance, checking battery voltage, uh, and, and it's the basic principle of uh, or the, the basic process of testing uh, the electrical circuits on any kind of cars, any kind of home products. Uh, these also uh, check um, uh, AC voltage also. So if you're doing electrical work at home and you need to check a uh, a light socket or, or, or a lamp or whatever you need to check a circuit to see what the voltage is or if there is voltage in it, uh, these, uh, these will work for the same, for the same thing. Um, if you're checking a circuit on a car, uh, then obviously you can check for, for continuity to make sure that the, uh, the, uh, the one end of the wire and the other end of the wire are not broken. You can check to see if there's, uh, there's any kind of a, a break in the line. Uh, fairly easy process. Um, but we're going to open up, we're going to take a look at it. They are relatively inexpensive. There's two different ones here. Uh, I will look up the price and give you an idea of what they would cost, but, but they were very, very cheap. So, you know what, let's stop right here. I'm going to go to back, I'm going to look it up on the computer, and we're going to come right back, so don't go nowhere. The, these, um, these digital um, um, multimeters are actually fairly inexpensive, like I was saying. Now, I looked online, and, and, and the one, which is this one right here, you could pick this up for like 20 bucks. Um, it's, it, it does everything that we do here at the shop with, uh, with most of our meters. Um, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Now obviously it's going to come with a, with a book to tell you how to use the unit itself, but it's fairly easy, just like any other multimeter. Obviously, you're going to need to probably, let's just take a look and see. We're going to need to install the battery, so let me grab a screwdriver. We're going to open this up, and we're going to see if there's any batteries in this thing. Actually, we don't even have to because I just turned it on, and it comes with the batteries already in the unit itself. Um, these are the, uh, the leads to do any kind of testing that you're going to need. You can actually put them in here, plug them in just like you need. These have pieces over the top like this. And then you can do any kind of testing you'd like to do. You want to test for, uh, let me just see this real quick. Uh, you want to check voltage. You have all of the different ranges that you can check everything on. Um, I'm not going to go into the function of how to use a multimeter, but it's fairly easy. Um, this is also for checking for continuity. If you wanted to check to see if a uh, if a um, if a, um, a, a cable was broken or a wire was broken or whatever, you could check for continuity. Uh, that, from what I understand, there is a function on here that'll give you the the audible sound if there is. So you can check continuity if you need to know. You know what? Hang on, let me grab a battery and stuff and we're going to go through this a little further. You need to check the, uh, the continuity in a wire to make sure there's not a break someplace inside there. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail because you guys know how to do that. Basically, you'll just connect it to one end of the wire, to the other end of the wire, and if you hear that audible sound, then you know that the wire is not broken, that everything is okay. If you touched it, to the wire itself and you didn't hear anything, then obviously you know there's a break in there. Like I said, we're not going to go into that details because uh, that's, a, that's a video for a different day. Basically, we're just talking about this unit right here now. 
Um, it does have backlighting. If you want, if you're in a dark situation, you need to have lighting. You can press this, and you can turn on the light in the background of it. Uh, from what I understand, I think these units turn off by themselves after a couple of uh, minutes of, of non-use. Um, we can check the the voltage on on a battery. This unit here. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just show you real quick here. It can stand just like this if you need to. Um, and if you wanted to check the voltage on, say, a particular, you know that these batteries here are all 1.5 volts. If you wanted to check to see how many, uh, how many volts is in the battery, you can just touch it to it and see. Okay, this battery is actually 0.396 volts. So we know that this battery here is dead. Um, see that but that's pretty much showing you that this battery is dead uh, if you're checking a car battery or whatever you could do the exact same thing if you wanted to check the voltage let's just see this here this one is 1.282 volts so we know that this battery is actually good uh, if you wanted to check a car battery you know what let me grab a battery I got laying on the floor over here I'm going to show you how to test that not that you need to know how to do that I'm sure you know how so uh, let me grab that and uh, we'll continue Okay, we're going to use a new battery because the other one over there is pretty much covered in acid. And if you wanted to check a battery now, you would just plug it on. Red, of course, is your positive, and black is your negative. And you'll know if the battery is good. And here you can see it's showing 12.31 volts, so we know that this battery is good. It's, uh, let me see if I can just leave this here for one second. 12.31, you can see it says DC voltage, so we know it's a DC voltage on here. Now, this unit, let's get rid of this battery here. Okay, let me read to you the rest of the information that is uh, with this here. We're going to leave this right here. We're going to see how long it takes before it shuts off. Uh, we have two of them, so we're going to do this one here first. I'm going to read you the unit. This, like I said, is $20. You know, for $20, bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, this, I'll give you a description of what it does. Okay, uh, non-contact voltage, overload protection, um, auto range fine, low battery indicator, um, and that's the, the multimeter. You can check AC as well as DC current. You can check online. I will, I will put a link down in the, in the description below so you can go online so you can see this yourself and you can read through all of the data. Um, it's fairly small. Um, Backlighting, yes. Auto off, yes. Diode testing, of course. Continuity testing, yes. Frequency, um, overload protection, low battery indicator. And it, it, like I said, it's also good for checking uh, a regular household, cur uh, household current. Let me get an extension cord. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to show you how we can check uh, the, the regular household current. And as you know, household current is, uh, is AC versus what we use here at the shop uh, on cars is all DC. All right, so let me grab a line and we're gonna, we're gonna continue. Let's continue with this now. We're gonna put it on voltage, of course. Now it's on voltage. And we're gonna actually check the voltage now in this outlet right here. So let's do this. And we're gonna do this. We're just gonna plug it in just like that. And you can take a look and see. It tells you what the voltage is. We got 120. 120.5 volts, so we know that that outlet is good, we know this extension cord is good. And if you're doing anything at home, you can check any kind of your circuitry at home to make sure you have adequate voltage, there's no shorts in the, uh, in the line or, uh, or any other problem. All right, um, what I do like about these here, and, and as you know, you do have these little protection pieces where you actually can't slide your fingers down and accidentally touch the two of these while you're trying to plug them in. You hold your hands back over here and you have no possibility of actually touching 110 volts and then, uh, you know, winding up uh, getting a jolt. Um, all right, so that's the first meter. That's 20 bucks. So, uh, and it has all of the different functions. Like I said, you can check online and you can see all of the different functions it has. Um, we are gonna turn it off now, so this is off. Uh, so that's the one for 20 bucks, so. 
This one we're going to put off to the side for now. And this is the one. This one is really not expensive either. This one I think is 40. No, I'm wrong. Wait a second. Okay. We're going to take this one and put it over to the side here for now because we're done with that one. This is the uh, this is the other one that they sent me. This one is a little bit different. This one actually has a, um, it does all of the functions as the other one did. This is the unit right here. It does a little bit more functions than the other one did. It has a, what they call a, a non-contact um, for voltage, which I got to read this and see how it works because there is some kind of an eye on the back over here and there is some kind of a, a sensor up on the top right here, but I will read through this to see what it is. Um, these are the electrical testers that come with it. And this one is also capable of checking um, temperature. So there's actually a temperature sensor that you would get with it also like this. So, all right, let me, uh, let me open up the, uh, the back of this here. It doesn't look like it has the, uh, the batteries in it because the batteries come in the box here. So let me grab a screwdriver. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna put these batteries in and we're gonna continue with this test. And again, these are your contacts. They have, this has a film over the top so you can actually uh, protect the screen. You just pull that off. Now, I'm gonna read to you what this one actually is capable of doing. Um, this measures voltage again also, just like the other one does. Um, it measures voltage, beeping for continuity, uh, which the other one does also. AC voltage, uh, it has a, uh, actually it has a flashlight in it too. So this has a flashlight built into it. Um, not sure what that's all about, but there's a flashlight built into it. Okay, this has a sensor that actually checks for voltage before, before you touch it. Okay, so we're just gonna go over a couple things now that this actually can do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, if you wanna check a circuit to see if it's live, you would turn it to live, just like that. You would take your, your circuitry, and what you would do is you would come in here with your test probe and you just plug your test probe in, and it will tell you if it's a live circuit or not. Now, as you know, that's the, uh, the return side, so it's not showing anything whatsoever here. Showing nothing, all right? But if you come into your live side, it'll tell you when it's live, all right? Or any kind of circuitry or, or uh, sockets or whatever at home that you're working on. Now, if you wanted to check with a non-contact portion of it without touching anything, you would actually come in here, and as you can see, when you bring the, the power close to it, you see how it lights up? And it tells you that there's power in there, so we know that this, this extension cord is live. See, nothing. We just bring this away, and you don't hear anything. But if you bring it in, you can see, it'll actually sense that it's a live circuit. So you know that the circuit is alive. All right. Um, there's a lot of other functions that this thing does too. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them because it's too much to go through. Your book is actually very good. It'll tell you exactly what to do. One last thing I just want to show you real quick is that this, this unit here, uh, let's get up here so you can see what we're talking about. All right. All right, remember I told you it had the thermometer or the, the temperature sensor that was actually came with this unit here. You would just take this like this. This has the sensor on the end. If you wanted to check your water temperature in your radiator, you wanted to check your uh, what your body temperature, make sure you're still alive. You, <laughs> you can hold on to it to see if you're still alive. All right, uh, what you would do is you would take these sensors and you would plug them into the uh, to the unit right here. It is pretty self-explanatory. Um, plug it in here, and you plug it in here. It'll actually 
read what the temperature is. Let's just give you a little height right here so you can see what's going on here. Like that. We're going to turn this on to, uh, to the temperature. Alright, there it is. Alright, that's for continuity. And this is for temperature. Now, as you can see, it's on the Celsius scale. You just press here, and you can turn it to the Fahrenheit scale. Now, obviously, it is kind of cold in here today. I didn't turn the heat on yet, but it's 48 degrees in here right now. And you can hold the bulb in your fingers, and you see the temperature starting to go up. It'll actually register what the temperature is. We're going to do it a little differently here. We're going to just do it a little quicker. We're not going to heat the thing up into the fire, but you can see the temperature is going up. As the air temperature around the bulb increases, the temperature goes up too. So you could actually stick this, okay. You could actually take this, um, this bulb right here, or this end of it right here, stick it into your cooling system to actually see what the actual temperature of the coolant in the, uh, the, air con in the, in the, uh, the cooling system would be. Um, so you can actually see if, you're, if your antifreeze is actually running hot or whatever, or thermometer, whatever you have. But this is actually a multi-purpose you can use it for. All right, there's lots of other things you can do with it. So, uh, you know, you will need to, uh, to read through the manual just to find out what it actually, all the functions that it does. There's so many things that this thing can do. All right, so, uh, all right. Okay, so, this did, so basically it's the same exact procedure as the other one. To, re to connect it and go through the whole test procedure. So this one is 40 bucks. Actually not even. This one is 34.95. And this one, from what I recall, was 19.95. So uh, either one of them, you can do just about anything that you can do at the shop. You want to check any kind of circuitry whatsoever. Either one of these will work very well. This one has got the flashlight built into it. This has a non-contact um, sensor to see what the voltage is before you actually probe it. Most of the house current is all 110 anyway, or 120 I should say. So well, you'll know what voltage you're working on, but this will go up to 600 volts. Same with this one here, uh, the exact same thing. So for the, for the cost of it, you can't go wrong. Use it one or two times and these units will pay for themselves. They do come in very handy to have in any backyard mechanic, any, any weekend mechanic, anybody who does any kind of home repairs themselves, these units will be actually perfect for, for anything you need to, uh, to do. You're not going to invest a lot of money and you're going to have a decent product to, uh, to actually uh, to do your accurate testing of any kind of circuitry. All right, any questions or comments or you need to know um, anything further about these, I will put a description down in the, uh, in the link below. So that way you'll, uh, you'll be able to actually do some testing yourself to see exactly uh, what information you can find about these, uh, but you can't go wrong. All right, so any questions or comments you need to talk to me about anything, you send me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.